Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at circle theorems. Um, now this particular question does look a little bit tricky to deal with, however hopefully we should be able to work it through in order to find out the value of angle x. And importantly on this one it says show your reasoning. So we're going to have to just be very careful about how we write things out and I'll try to make it fairly clear on the video. Please do stop the video however, have a go at the question and then compare your solution. Okay, so the first thing is we need to just make sure that we read it okay and we're being told that DA and DC, so in other words this line along here and this line along here are both tangents. Okay, well if they are tangents then they meet the radius of the circle at 90 degrees, okay? And we're told because this is the centre then this line here must be the radius this is the tangent, it must meet at 90 degrees. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm gonna say about that. Okay, so we can say then that a tangent meets a radius at 90 degrees. Now, apologies for my writing, okay? It's not the greatest writing in the world, I'm afraid, okay? But hopefully it'll get the message across. So just to further kind of reinforce that, because it meets a radius of 90 degrees, what I can say then is that angle OCD is gonna be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, angle OCD equals 90 degrees. All right, so effectively what we've got now is a triangle, a right angle triangle, and all I'm gonna look at is this bottom triangle here. So we've been told this is 25, we've been told this is 90, so therefore I know that all the angles, so angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. Okay, so what I can do if I want, I can do a little sketch that basically reinforces that. And I can say that actually this is going to be 25. This is going to be a right angle. We know that therefore 90 plus 25, if we take that away from 180, it's going to give us this angle at the top here, which is going to be angle C O D. So that's going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 90 minus 25. So that's going to equal 65 degrees. OK, so we're now in a position that actually we can tell that this angle is 65 degrees. OK, and then another point that they might want us to say is that this triangle and this triangle are the same. They're congruent triangles. They're exactly the same because both of them are made from tangents. So therefore, they're both at 90 degrees. OK, um, this angle here is on the midline. So therefore, that's 25, that's 25, that's 90 and that's 65. OK, so we can say that triangle OCD and OAD are similar. OK, so angle AOD and that's a little bit it's AOD is also going to be 65 degrees. So that's equal to 65 degrees. Okay, so therefore, if we join these two together, we've got angle AOC, which is going to be 65 as 65, which is going to be 130 degrees. Okay, so it's angle AOC equals 135 degrees. And then, oh, big pardon, sorry, 130 degrees. They're both 65, so therefore 130 degrees. Okay, now the final piece of the jigsaw is the angles at the circumference. I wish I could write better. Of a circle is or are half the angle at the center. Okay, so that's a terrible bit of writing there, but what we basically mean is that the angle here is gonna be half 
the angle here. So if this is going to be 130 degrees, it's going to mean that angle ABC is going to be half that, which is going to be 65 degrees. OK, so hopefully you're writing a little bit better than mine, but I can put so angle ABC, which is what they're interested in, is X is equal to 65 degrees. OK, and that would be the answer to this particular question. So quite a little bit of work, but once you kind of get used to breaking it down into bite-sized pieces and also recognizing that we've got two congruent triangles here, both of which have got tangents, therefore they meet at 95 at 90 degrees, we can work out that. And then the other circle theorem that you need to know is that the angle at the circumference of a circle is half the angle at the center of the circle. Okay, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.